Tip of the day. Today I'm going to give you a little hack on how to be uh, a lot more productive in your work, your job, uh, or anything that you're actually doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, if you're anything like me, uh, you do what is known as looping a hell of a lot. And looping is you go on Facebook, you have messages, you have notifications, you check through, you have a little scroll down, you read the status of what people are doing, and then you go from Facebook to Instagram, do exactly the same, reply to messages, reply to comments, then you go to Twitter, do the same. After Twitter, you check your emails, reply to the emails, and then when you've done that, you're getting notifications and messages again from Facebook and the cycle starts again. And you just keep going round and round and round. And before you know it, an hour, two hours can have passed and you're just doing the same fucking thing all the time. What you need to do is, the night before, write a list of stuff you need to do that day, next day. And then when you come to do that the next morning, Pick the most important thing. It might be the one that you don't want to do the most, but it might be the most important thing. Then here's the key. Turn your phone off or put your phone in another room. Somewhere where you can't just grab it halfway through writing an email or halfway through doing something on the computer, doing some kind of work, where you can't go and check your Facebook, you can't go and check your Instagram, Twitter, or your emails. Right, this is the key. Because once you start... It just completely throws you out of your, your rhythm and you lose all the momentum of work that you've built up. Now, I still have to keep myself in check with this because I'm a pain in the arse. Um, you know, my, my phone's constantly bleeping, constantly buzzing with messages and notifications, that kind of thing. So it's a really, really big help if you just get rid of your phone for a couple of hours and get what you need to get done. And while we're talking about phones, I'm going to give you another little tip as well, which probably most of you already know, um, but it follows on from the tip that I gave you last night. And if you're having tro uh, trouble winding down and falling off to sleep, you need to get off your fucking phones about 30 to 60 minutes before you go to bed. Now again, I'm a pain in the ass for this because like I say, I'm constantly replying to messages, people asking me stuff, and I put a lot of content out on social media, so I'm getting a lot of engagements all the time, and it's hard to sort of um, call a day on it and say, right, that's it, I'm not going to do any more, I'll start again tomorrow. Easier said than done, but what happens is the blue light from your phone stops the production of melatonin in your body, which then makes it harder for you to fall asleep. It increases your cortisol levels, reduces your melatonin levels, making it harder to fall asleep. And it's just a big, massive distraction. You're just basically getting nothing done. You're just being nosy and, and, and going through the, the whole cycle that we talked about earlier. It's the same if you work from home or you do a lot of work on the computer. The blue light from the computer is exactly the same. It stops the production of melatonin, which is the, the your sleepy hormone that actually uh, makes you fall asleep. A great tip for this, if you're working on the computer a lot, is download some software, and it's called Flux. I'll put it in the comments section below, and it actually uh, changes the lights on your computer, so you, you don't get that blue light effect um, that stops the production of melatonin. I've actually heard there's a way you can do it on your phones and on your tablets. Uh, I'm not too sure of how to do that yet, but it's something I'm going to look into, uh, because I think it'll make a big difference. Uh, to myself and hopefully all you guys do. So as always, if you like this tip or you're going to get some use out of it, give it a go. Give me some feedback, like, tag and share anybody else that you think will benefit from this. Okay, have a good one.